Lakers news. Guys, let's get straight to the point. The 2024 NBA season could be one of the most hectic in recent years. Negotiations are hotting up and our Los Angeles Lakers are looking for another star to bolster the team. First, let's talk about Brandon Ingram. You remember him, right? The Lakers chose Ingram as the second overall pick in the 2016 draft and kept him for three seasons before using him as a key piece in the acquisition of Anthony Davis. Now, there is speculation that the New Orleans Pelicans are considering trading Ingram this offseason. According to NBA insider Mark Stein, if the Lakers are interested in Ingram's playmaking ability, he could be within reach. Even if the Lakers are hesitant to include Austin Reeves in a possible trade, they could still make a strong offer without him. Offering two or three first-round picks could catch the Pelicans' attention, especially if those picks are involved in a larger trade involving a third team capable of providing an immediate impact player. A package that includes D'Angelo Russell, should he exercise his player option, Roy Hakimura, and a promising youngster like Jalen Hood-Shifino or Maxwell Lewis could potentially seal the deal. Now, let's be honest, on paper, Ingram may not seem like the perfect fit for the Lakers due to his tendency to dominate the ball and his relatively low volume of three-point shots. However, he would still be a valuable addition as a third scoring option, capable of creating his own opportunities or facilitating for LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And you know how important it is to have another reliable offensive piece in the team. Speaking of a perfect fit, let's evaluate Trey Young's trade value. It's complicated, because although his offensive skills are exceptional, he has his defensive limitations. But come on, if the Atlanta Hawks decide to trade the 25-year-old, three-time All-Star, they would certainly expect a significant return. According to Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN, the possibility of trade discussions involving Young is very real. The Lakers may find it difficult to exclude Reeves from a potential trade for Young, although including him could prevent us from having to give up another Young player. However, it could limit our future options to acquire new talent, as it could require all three draft picks allowed to secure Young. So, do you think it's risky? I say no, especially considering the championship window with LeBron James, whose continuity in the team is still uncertain. It goes without saying that acquiring him would probably require the Lakers to strip themselves of almost everything they have, all those draft picks, Reeves and any additional veterans or young prospects Cleveland might require. And now I want to know what you think. Which of these trades do you think would be the most impactful for the Lakers?